Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about pen techniques that go with our watercolor and pen project that we're working on. Um, this is an example of our project as it would be when it is finished with our watercolor background and then our pen technique drawing over top of our watercolor background. So in order to get these pen um, techniques on here. We've got to practice those on a separate piece of paper first. So if you were in class and just need a brush up, or if you were not in class and you need to practice these before your project, then you need to follow me. Um, in your sketchbook, just on a blank page, I want you to go ahead and make uh, a page that looks like this. Pen techniques at the top, five boxes, and here are the labels for those boxes. Hatching, cross hatching, stippling, scribbling and scumbling. Go ahead and pause the video and do that, that now. And then you can join me back for doing each box, filling in each box. Okay, for hatching, we're just talking about lines that go all the same direction. I usually choose diagonal like this. Um, none of the lines cross, okay? And more lines are gonna give you a darker value. So if I was going from dark on this side to light on this side, I'm gonna have a lot of lines going the same direction to create a darker value. And then I'm gonna get less and less with my lines to create lighter values. Okay. Again, they're all going the same direction. So for hatching, if you wanted to do diagonal, you can, or you can do vertical, or you can do horizontal, but they don't cross, okay? For cross hatching, hatching then they would cross. So I could start maybe, if I'm going dark to light again, I could go this direction. And then to create a darker value, I would keep adding more lines going different directions and crossing over the other lines that I've made. Okay, so the darkest value then has the most lines. With pen, we can't really do value scales like we can with a pencil. We can't erase um, values out we can't change our pressure. We have to change the number of lines. So less lines creates a lighter value and then more lines create a darker value, okay? And what we're doing here is we're working with texture, which is how do you draw a thing to make it looks, look like it feels like something? So all of the things that we're going to be drawing in this next project will need to have a di different texture. So the mountains will need to look different than the trees. So that all goes with how you make your lines. Stippling, uh, this one takes a little bit longer. This one is dots. Some of you guys may have done projects like this in the past, maybe have called it pointillism. Okay, less dots further spaced out are going to create a light area, and then you're going to put more dots together to create a darker area, medium amount of dots in the middle. So again, we're going from dark on this side to light. I want you guys to practice how do you create dark values, medium values, and light values only using pen. This stippling takes a little bit longer, so I will not quite fill up all of this box. I'll let you guys fill up your box with dots. Also, you don't have to jam your pen into the paper. You can very easily and intentionally place those dots where you want them. Um, and in order to do these dots uh, more successfully, it usually works better with like a felt tip pen, which is something that I'm using. But if you only have a ballpoint pen or a regular pen you would use for um, a, another class, that's fine too. It still works. It just takes a little bit longer because those dots are gonna be smaller. Okay, so dark to light. You guys can finish the rest of, of that box on your page. Scribbling. Scribbling is like you would imagine. It is loops. And again, the less loops that I have, the lighter my value is going to be. And then I put more loops. So these are curls, scribbles. More loops are going to be
darker. It's all about the amount of lines when you're doing pen technique. So more lines, darker, less lines, lighter. Okay, and you can kind of get the idea. You could keep going dark, medium, light with your scribbles. Scumbles is a little bit different, and I'm going to zoom in here. Um, scumbles is, I'm going to put a little example out here. It's really in the family of scribbling, but we're going to add some jagged lines in here. We're kind of just going to let our pen scribble around, but put some jagged lines in there. And why we would do something like this over scribbling is because this adds a different texture. Notice how this has a different feeling than this. So I can use this scumbling technique. Um, I often like to use it when I'm trying to fill in a large amount of trees that are far away or um, bushes or something because then you don't have to draw every single leaf. You can just scumble some lines and that gives the impression of a whole bunch of leaves without having to draw every single one. And it really does look good when it's um, done small and has a large area of the trees or bushes. Okay, more scumbles all together. It's going to create a darker value. And then less scumbles creates a lighter value. Okay, these are the pin techniques that you need to practice before you get into doing the rest of your project. Notice how there's hatching on um, some of the mountains in this example. There's some scumbling in the trees. There's some stippling on the ground. Um, and some of the other pictures have some of the other pen techniques incorporated to create all of these different textures with a pen. Happy drawing.